Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi Agusi, the Crypto Pi. And today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin guys and about an Elliott Wave flaw I found in my own analysis. And obviously I have to tell, you know, I, I have to correct myself because uh, it's kind of loopy, alright, the way I did it. So, um, let's get into it guys. Alright, this is BitMax by the way. I'm not showing you how much I have because I don't want to, you know, entice anyone like, oh, you know. Uh, like this guy has that much on BitMEX or whatever. So we're not going to talk about that. That's why I got it hidden guys. That's first of all. Also, if you want to check out BitMEX yourself, the link is in the description below. You can, however, I recommend to go first on the testnet and check it out there because it is trading on margin, right? So you need to be well aware of that. And I, I made some good trades last night, all right? My, my night on, on the, like I got stopped out on the long, took a, a small loss, whatever. Then I took a, a good short and I made the money back, right? And and plus some more. So, you know, some good profits. However, you know, my rule at the moment is I don't trade above $4,000 contracts, right? I trade with about 4,000 contracts, which is about $4,000 worth. And that way you cannot lose too much. And you should depend it on how much money you have in your net worth, really. Right? So don't don't go trading way above your skill. If you only have like fifty thousand or twenty thousand or ten thousand, whatever, five thousand. Let's say you have five thousand, then I don't want you to be trading leverage with four thousand dollar contracts. Okay, I want you more to be trading about what you can afford to lose. So perhaps maybe it's only like a thousand dollars, right? And if it goes up ten percent, that's cool. Then you have a hundred bucks, but if, if it doesn't, you know, then uh, if it only goes up five percent, then you have fifty bucks. So you still you always need to look at it that way, guys. All right. So for example, let's say you'd be trading with a thousand dollars, and you open a short here, and you go down here, and you close it at five percent, then you made about fifty bucks. All right. Now. For people who use 4,000, it's 200 bucks. It's just how it is, guys. Um, and that's, you, you know, you gotta live with what you trade with. Anyways, let's get into this Elliott Wave and how I see it, first of all, right? This is how I saw it last night, and that's why I, I, I said in my Telegram. Guys, by the way, if you're not in my Telegram yet, in my Telegram yet, then join up with the CryptoPies blog where we talk among each other, where you can ask me any questions, ask anyone else any questions, and, you know, it's good. So just be in a chat box together, right? Remember when I called this out, guys? It was last night. So basically, I saw a five, right? And then um, basically, I saw it breaking out. So I was like one, two, and then three, four, five. However, that wasn't the case because we got an A, B, C instead. A, B, C. And uh, after that, one, two, three, four, five more. And I know that the four is a little higher than the one, but that is because it's a leverage market, all right? Whether you want to see it or not. Um, Bitmax is leverage. Bit a bit Finex is leverage, Kraken is leverage. So in a leverage market, it can happen. So it's a little bit higher than the one. However, um, not too much. So it's fine, right? It's fine. Um, and this is what I also see. So when I showed this picture on my Telegram, is um, you can see the five is higher than the three, right? So also, guys, join up with the Crypto Buys feed where I post all my videos and also analysis, uh, trading ideas about tutorials, how to uh, make a watch list and always maintain your watch list, guys. Um, when new ICOs pop up, when you need to KYC for it, know your customer and then say money laundering, AML. And uh, when you just need to whitelist for it overall, just register for new ICOs. So I keep you guys up to date with, with that as well. I tell you when I go into an ICO or not, I don't always write that in my CryptoPies feed. I also write in, in a CryptoPies blog about that. However, guys, just keep in mind to join both telegrams. Both links will be in the description below. So yeah, do that. Anyways, let's get into the bread and butter of this video, right? So we got a one, two, three, four, five here, right? And but the, remember what I said, the five is higher than the three. Well, you see that, right? It's, it's, it's a little higher than the three. So I, I was not all that comfortable with that, however, um, it went up afterwards, so well, whatever, right? I thought it was one, two, three, four, five, but it's not. It's A, B, C. So, what happens after this A, B, C is uh, we get a five way down, right? We, we get this five way down. I should actually start that here. 
So basically we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, and this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 also coincides with this 5. But now imagine guys, if this 5 didn't end there, but it ended all the way down here. Would that be possible? It's kind of in the range of this, this line that I have, that I've been trading in, in this channel. And also, if we take our Fibonacci tool, so on Bitmax guys, you've got the same tools. You go to the trend based Fib extension and you take the top here. And we take this to the number one, up to the number two. And you see that is to the three, it was about a one to one ratio. And to the five, it's about a 1.618 ratio, right? So that is definitely possible guys that I was wrong there and that the five actually ended here. Um, a little higher, a little lower than the 1.618, right? Yeah. Also, the three was a little lower than, than the one. So that is definitely possible guys that we see here a longer way five, which in itself has a whole ABC in there and another smaller one, two, three, four, five in order to get there, right? So that is also what I have to recognize that this this four this was a not a four then then this was your four right and uh, basically you see this four also coincides with this one if I take if I if I draw a line and I put it here right at the one you see the four is still under the one so that is all good and well with the Elliott wave theory right so that is something that could have happened guys and uh, you know I just wanted to make a video about that because I think you know I enjoy finding this, this these kind of things right I enjoy um, just solving like trying to find when it's gonna uh, you know go back up in this case you know when it's gonna turn around so this was a one, two, three, four, five, guys, and you need to be passionate about what you're doing, right? And I'm very passionate about this. I'm just learning every day, you know. And guys, check out Philak One, right? I link, I I posted his link as well in uh, one of my comments in, in my previous video because someone asked for it. And you know, check him out, guys. That guy is teaching so much to not only me but to all of his viewers, right? So better check him out, guys, because. He's the master, and I'm, you know, I, I, basically, we're all students of his, right? When we watch his videos, so, but everyone can learn this, guys. This is something everyone can learn, and it's very profitable. All right, so guys, um, that's it. I mean, we'll we'll stay in this this uh, channel for a bit, but if we go lower than this five wave, that means the five wave will be longer, right? Both on this one, and uh, on this one. Remember this this four but we still actually have a five here as well right so like a one two three and then we have like a four here I just have to write it then because this is like a temporary one right and then we have a, a five here right so that is just a shorter version of it like you know, remember this so one two three four five but that five was higher than the three so but we still have that as well guys so just need to keep that in contact so and then an a b c right and then a one two three four five so we got a one two three four five and we got a um a b c and a one two three four five so guys that is just basically what I wanted to tell you guys and you know let's just hope that this was the end and now we're going back up all right but guys remember we're not out of the whole thing yet because if we go on to Bitcoin itself um, this could also happen guys where remember this this was four right but what if this not is not four what if it's gonna be somewhere up here and then we get a fifth wave that is possible guys that is possible however uh, it's more likely gonna be around here because it needs to be with the one right even though it's a highly leveraged market 9.2 something like that also coincides with here so if this is not the, the low yet we will get a low somewhere somewhere lower right so keep that in mind as well guys but for now I, uh, I digress and I put my four back where it is. I just see the market as it is for now, right? 
I put my five here. And uh, that, that is how it is right now, guys. So I kind of want to see a bounce back up here. Also, guys, what which not only I say, but a lot of people predict is that at some point. So if you're just holding spot coins, guys, I don't want you to be selling at all. Right. Um, because at some point we'll get back to this mean. All right. Which is about the 12 to 14 K range, uh, which is very likely. Obviously, we need to break this one. But then we go back up here, right? So, not only am I am predicting that, but a lot of people are. So, if you're holding spot coins, you have nothing to worry about. Because you're not in margin, you can't be liquidated or anything, right? Now, if you are margin, obviously, always take your stop and, you know, take your losses, guys. Take them quickly, right? So, let me just talk, talk you quickly through the trade I was in last night, alright? So, I was following this channel, right? Cool. So, you could have been along here. And then you could have shorted here, you could have longed here, or you had to take your profit earlier. But I, I tend to do that anyways. I take my profit a little sooner than actual the line, so I would have been fine here most likely. Um, I wouldn't have opened a short though. I only I wait for the ultimate highs. But um, so then this happened, right? So I opened my long here, guys. Right? I opened my long here, but then we fell through. And here I didn't get stopped out yet because my stop was around here ish. And then I got stopped out, right? So I got stopped out. I, I had a loss. Okay, cool. Whatever. It's a little loss. Um, $80 loss or something. Um, I think it was only $30 because I. It stopped and then it pulled me back up or something and it, it, it closed me very nicely. So it was about $30 loss. But then I went up here, guys. And I opened a short, closed it around here, and guess what, right? That is a lot more profit than, than the loss. So, guys, just make sure that the profits you make are bigger than your losses, and then you can make more losses even than, than, than winners, right? And you're still up. So, just always take your loss, guys, right? I can't stress that enough, that you need to stop out and need to take your loss. Because if you don't... You're gonna get underwater, especially in margin, guys. When you're underwater in margin, it's no fun. Alright, so that is just something I have to say. So, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button. And if you got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.